Finance Minister Katie Gallagher, who's with me in the studio, and I, I know you met the Queen, you had the honour of meeting her on a number of occasions, but let's start with the ceremony today and, and laying a wreath. It's an interesting mood, it seems. It's sombre, but also gratitude for the service of a brilliant woman over 70 years. Yeah, it was a, it's, it was a very solemn ceremony, I thought, but it was filled with love and respect. You could also feel that in equal amounts. So people obviously grieving and, and quite sad about her passing, uh, but also incredibly respectful and wanting to share their appreciation, I think, for you know, an incredible and remarkable world leader who had dedicated her entire life to public service. And you saw that with all the members of the diplomatic corps there today, Commonwealth countries, but obviously countries from a right around the world were there. And we see you here as Chief Minister. You, <laughs> you met her on a number of occasions. She was here for, what, over a week, wasn't it, in 2011? Yeah, she, um, that's right. She was, uh, she used Canberra as her base. She told me she loved the national capital. She loved Yarralumla. I think she loved the grounds of Government House. She was a keen gardener, so we went to Floriade together. It was actually a week or so after Floriade had finished, so the bulbs were just hanging on for her. Uh, but she had an incredible way of making people feel at ease, despite, obviously, all the ceremony and, you know, stress around a visit from, you know, a person like the Queen. But... Proud Canberran, and I think Canberrans were very proud to have her here. And, and the, the, this was today we spoke about earlier. The, the, co the contrast of the, the smiles and the delight in seeing Her Majesty, and then are, are you surprised by the level of grief that people are feeling? Because a lot, it seems to me from hearing a lot of those that we're interviewing around the country and here at Parliament House, members of the public just coming in to pay their respects, that they're feeling it personally. Yeah, I think that's right. I, I can certainly uh, feel this deep sorrow. I mean, I just where we lay wreaths uh, this morning, there's a lot of members of public who are really upset and grieving the loss. And I think the change that, you know, losing somebody who'd been there for, you know, the majority of us for our entire lives, um, even though she was elderly, I think still there's a level of unexpectedness or shock around her passing and what that means. So people are working through that, I think, and that's why I think the opportunity to lay wreaths, to write in the condolence books, to show your respect is so important for people right now. Indeed, to do your little bit, I guess, to, to pay respects. We, in the, the current climate in the last a decade or so, there's been a lot of debate about... Uh, empowering women and having more female leaders and, and it's an entirely appropriate discussion and, and long overdue. But when you look at the Queen becoming the Queen at 25 and then serving for 70 years, it's, it is an extraordinary level of service and a role model, isn't it, for women right around the world? Absolutely. I think I can only imagine what it was like for her when she had to step up into that role. I mean, obviously, she was under fairly intense public scrutiny before that as a princess, but taking on that role in an unexpected circumstances at 25, um, you know, I have no doubt she had to prove herself several times over, uh, but she did it with incredible capability. Uh, and I think as she got on in her reign, I mean, she actually moved above any criticism really at all, you know, because she was so capable, so across her job um, and the work she did, so focused on what it meant. And you could see that when you met her, uh, she actually made you feel uh, very, uh, I don't know, welcome, but also that she was very interested in what you had to say and what she was learning as she went around her visits. And I think that's why people have really warmed to her. But, yes, I think she was an incredible role uh, model for any any woman. Um, and I think we all understand how difficult it must have been for her at times. Oh, absolutely. It's hard to fathom how someone could serve at that level as she did with that steadiness, that dignity, the sense of duty, so uh, infallible almost. The, the Prime Minister's heading to London this week or a bit later in the week for the funeral along with the Governor-General. It's important, isn't it, that he reflect the mood of the country as well in terms of being there uh, mourning on behalf of the country but paying his respects too. Absolutely. And I think you've seen, you know, we've picked up already in the first few days how Australia feels about this and the 
the level of grief and, and respect that comes with that. And I have no doubt that the Governor-General and Prime Minister will be able to um, take that with them when they represent the country um, at the various ceremonies that will be held in respect of her life and her, her um, you know, role as a, a leading world... Well, a world leader and a monarch for over 70 years. It is really quite extraordinary. And now we hear from King Charles III, his first speech as as monarch, it must be extraordinarily difficult to have the personal grief on the one hand, a dichotomy almost, and then on the other, he's got to take on this enormous new role as king. That's right. He uh, And I've, I felt for him this, this morning, early this morning, when he was making his first address, that he was, um, you know, a man grieving the loss of his beloved mother at a time when uh, the world is looking to him um, as, as king. Um, he, ha I'm sure he'll pa pave his own way, but, yeah, I think anyone at the moment is um, feeling for the royal family and, you know, for the grief that they would be experiencing right now. Well, I appreciate your time today. A, uh, a significant day for the parliament as well, this laying of the wreath and tomorrow the proclamation of the new king. Katie Gallagher, thanks so much for your time.